everybody, Opinionated Idiot here, and I wanted to chime in with some breaking Brian Koberger news. There are multiple news articles out there reporting that Brian Koberger had photos of one of the victims on his phone when he was arrested in November. Now, it's unclear if the photos were taken by him of the victim or if they were downloaded to his phone. I got a couple of news sources I wanna pull up here so we can go through it. Let's go over to the big screen. Okay, so here is a segment from Banfield. I know that you guys realize that I use her information a lot, but to be truthful, she's really the only one that has been reporting consistently on this case. Let's play through this video and see what she has to say. So I have some additional reporting uh, to add to this tonight. Uh, new and um, unique reporting that News Nation has uh, discovered, and it has to do sources close to the investigation telling us that the person who is uh, featured on Brian Koberger's phone, the female victim who was featured on Brian Koberger's phone, is the same person that he was reaching out to on social media, uh, and also that the photos were not taken by Brian Koberger, they were downloaded off of that victim's Instagram. So he had taken the pictures from that victim's Instagram. And then I also have this uh, reporting that Brian Koberger followed both Kaylee and Maddie on Instagram, but Koberger liked every one of Maddie's photos. Maddie's on the right, her best friend Kaylee's on the left. Koberger had liked all of Maddie's photos compared to liking just a couple of the ones um, on Kaylee's account. He followed both, but he liked all of Maddie's and compared to liking just a couple of them on um, Kaylee's account. So that may give us a little bit more insight as to potentially who it was that he had downloaded and um, kept on his phone, which victim, which female victim's pictures were on his phone. Okay. That's the Banfield segment. And what I want you guys to do is keep a couple of things in mind when I pull up the next article. So Banfield first says, Koberger allegedly followed one of the victims on their Instagram account. And we've kind of known about that because that's been reported out there. Uh, and I've read a few articles about that and actually talked about that here on this channel. The second thing that I want you to remember is she says that the photos are allegedly downloaded onto Koberger's phone. So they weren't taken, but they were downloaded. So keep those two things in mind as I pull up this article. Okay, so here's that article from people.com. And it says, accused Idaho killer Brian Koberger allegedly had pictures of the victim on his phone, a source tells. Quote, it was clear that he was paying attention to her. It goes on to say, the man accused of killing four University of Idaho students last November allegedly had pictures of one of the female victims on his phone, a source familiar with the investigation tells People. A phone that belonged to Brian Koberger was collected after his arrest. According to the source, authorities found photos of the victim on the device. The source did not specify whether they were photos that he had taken of her or if they were downloaded from her social media. Quote, he had more than one picture of her, the source tells it was clear that he was paying attention to her. Okay, so there you have it. And it's a very interesting dynamic between both of the news sources. And I wanna talk about that a little bit and then give you my conclusion and my final thought. So as we know, Banfield states that it was a female victim that he was following on their Instagram account. And now we know, and it's been reported through another source that Brian Koberger allegedly followed Kaylee and Maddie on their Instagram account. Also heard from Banfield today that the victim that he had these photos of, all of their photos on their Instagram account, he went in and allegedly liked all of them. She also states that the photos that were allegedly found on Brian Koberger's phone were downloaded to his phone and not taken by him. On the flip side, the people.com article states that it was a female victim. The source was unclear if the photos that were on Brian Koberger's phone were downloaded or taken by him. The source goes on to quote that he definitely had more than one photo of her 
and that he was clearly paying attention to her. Okay, so here's my final thought on all of this. But before I do that, do me a huge favor. 89% of you have come back to my channel and have not subscribed yet. Please go down there, hit that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. If you like the material in this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. What's obvious to me that someone that's very close to this investigation knows what's going on is talking to the media. That's how this source information is getting out. I think that Brian Koberger definitely had a connection to one, if not more of the female victims in this case. And this is where I was thinking, and I, I try to go back and think about where was the connection? Where did that happen? And the only place that this takes me back to could be that restaurant. Maybe Brian went in, ordered some food, saw Kaylee and Maddie there and became fixated on one of them. I think that he did some snooping around, maybe through the Idaho student directory, or maybe just started searching around Instagram and found both of them. Took a particular liking to one of them started to reach out to one of them on Instagram. There was no interaction, became pissed off, and that's kind of where it led us to now. What do you guys think? Do you find this source and these articles to be credible? Do you think that someone is talking behind the scenes and giving information to the media? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys say. That's gonna be it, and I will continue to follow this case and give you updates. I am the opinionated idiot, and like I always say, opinions are like assholes, and everybody's got one. See you on the next one. <laughs>